Alright guys, so now we know how to make a very simple web crawler, at least a web crawler for my site right here, buckysroom.org slash trade. But I'm guessing that you're probably not going to only want to crawl my web page. I mean, it is pretty cool, but you're probably going to want to let your web crawler um, do things like crawl other web pages, start crawling the entire internet and gathering information. So instead of just going through page by page by page, I'm going to show you guys how to make a dynamic web crawler that can pretty much gather links from a web page and crawl those as well. So spread out, start crawling the entire web. So what I'm going to do is actually build a new function and what this web crawler is going to do, this example, is it's pretty much not only going to go through page by page, but for every item, it's going to actually go to that link where the item is and you can actually do a couple of different things you can either just gather information so say that you're making I don't know maybe a GUI to um, trade your items well what we do want to do is gather maybe the item title maybe some information about the owner so you can either just gather information from the web page or what most web crawlers do is they go to that web page gather all of the links from that web page and store them so they can either crawl them later or um, start spreading out and crawling in instantly, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to show you guys both of those techniques and by the end you're going to learn how to make some pretty sweet web crawlers. So anyways, let's go back in here and I'll get myself a little bit more space. So again, like I said, what this is going to do is go to each item one by one and do something cool with it. So I'm going to name this function get single item data. And the parameter that we pass it in is the URL of the item. Now, the cool thing about this is we actually pulled the URL from the item and it's stored in this href variable. So we're going to be passing it in as item URL. So how awesome is that? Like half the work is already done because we already um, got the URL of each item in the last tutorial. Pretty freaking sweet. So now with this, again, the first thing that we always want to do is request the data from the website, convert it into plain text, or in other words, just get the source code and then make it into a beautiful soup object. Well, check this out as well. Oh my God, this is like the easiest tutorial ever because everything is basically done for us. So again, in this function as well, I'm tired of looking at fantasy say uh, I don't know here we go alright so again whenever we're on this page what we need to do is we need to make a new beautiful soup object because the old one was for the search page so in this one we requested that URL which is now named item URL we got the source code from it and then we convert it to a beautiful soup object so now we can crawl it and like pull out links from it, titles, whatever we want. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys just say you want to gather information from this page. So for each item, we'll say that you wanted to get like a, I don't know, we'll get the item name and we'll just get the item name for now. I'll show you guys a real, keep it really basic. So for item name in soup, find all, actually I can just copy this right here. what I want to do is get the item name from each individual each individual page now my guess is since it's a new page it's not probably gonna have the same class because you know it has a different design so let's go ahead and find out what information we can use for this alright so the three things you need is what HTML element it is it's a div what attribute are you looking for at the class and what's the value of it? Well, let me just copy this so I don't forget. iName. So div class iName. Those are the three things you need whenever you use it. So again, it's not a link before, but the title is now in a div. And the class of it is iName, which stands for item name. Easy to remember. So now on each page, let's just go ahead and print out the item name. So item name dot string, remember it takes whatever this HTML element is and pulls a string from it or just text from inside. 
So now what I can do is actually just run this in. Let's see. We actually need to call this right here. So copy this. And remember, right here is basically going through the search page. So for each item, actually comment these out because we don't want a bunch of stuff cluttering up um, our results. So basically for each item, this href was the URL. So go to each item's individual page. And right now we're just printing out the title of it. And actually, just so I can test this to make sure it's working, instead of crawling just one page, let's crawl three. So now whenever I run this, hopefully it'll work. So again, what this is doing right now is it's not just going to this main search page and printing out the titles. It's actually going to each of these pages one by one and printing out the titles of each. So check that out and it looks like it is indeed working for more than one page. So again, since I know that's working, no need to keep going. It looks good and also I probably should mention this. Whenever you want to stop your program, like maybe you accidentally said crawl 100 pages, you can just hit this little icon right here, stop. And also whenever you want to clear your console, you can just hit this trash can, clear all. All right, so now our web page, or excuse me, our web crawler can not only crawl explicitly the pages we told it to, it can find links dynamically and crawl those as well. Now another cool thing that you can do is say, okay, start here, find some pages, crawl those pages. Well, what if you wanted to go to a certain page and find all the links on this page and crawl those as well? Well, this is actually one of the most common things in web crawlers, so might as well show you guys how to do it right now. So what we can do is put for link in, I guess we might as well type this out, I was trying to be lazy, in link in soup, find all. Now in this case, this is actually going to be the easiest thing ever. We don't need to give it any explicit data. We're just going to say find all A, find all the links on this page. So it's going to find this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, any link that's on the page, it's going to gather. So, um, you know, it's actually, <laughs> it's kind of weird that the more work your program does, the easier it is to code. Hmm. Funny how things are. So anyways, now that we have the link, what we can do is just build a complete version of it. Because if we just look at like any of these links right here, we have the same problem before. It just links to the um, extension of it and not the base of it because, you know, I, that's just how people develop websites. So, of course, if we just try to go to this in our browser, it would try to do it on a local host and not the um, web page. So, build the fir full version of it. And just to make sure it's working, we'll print that out. So, print href and actually let me comment this out right here so again what our programs can do right now is actually don't want to mess up my loops so what our program is going to do right now is say okay this is your starting point go page by page go to each items page and on that page gather all the links hopefully that's what it does if I didn't mess anything up so that is what it's doing right here and I know this is kind of a, it's kind of a weird example because on each page the links are very similar like I don't know like send a message um, view profile so they're gonna look the same but what you can do is if you don't wanna crawl the same link over and over again if you guys remember a couple tutorials ago I taught you guys about something called sets now in the example I showed you guys just a very simple grocery list and you're like okay when the heck am I ever going to make a grocery list piece of software? This is the dumbest thing ever. Well, this is one of the instances where you can use a set because it's basically a list of items, but it has all unique values. Every item, it can't repeat like uh, you can in a regular list. So that way you can throw all of your URLs in a set and it will only crawl each URL once instead of, you know, crawling um, index each time. 
So that's one cool thing or one cool way that you can use sets to make a very powerful web crawler. So anyways, that is the very basics of not only how you can pull information from a single page, but also gather links from those pages. Then of course you'd say, okay, now go to this page, gather all the links. Before you know it, you have a million links and you're the next Google. So that is the basics of making a very simple web crawler. If you guys have any questions at all, please ask me on the forum. Also, what I did is on my forum, I uh, posted all the source code. So if you go to the forum and in the Python section, it is right here. 25 how to make a web crawler so maybe you have some trouble or you're messing something up then I uh, just copy that and you'll be good to go and also another thing I want to point out is try to gather this information right here with a web crawler if you can make a web crawler to go to this <laughs> website and uh, get the source code of how to make a itself that would be the coolest thing ever so try to do that that'll be your next challenge but for now Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and well, I'll see you next time.